we all can attest to, there's plenty of time we've all had an idea for an invention, an idea for a business that you may or may not want to run or start or do. What stops you could be possibly confidence or a lack of really knowing what next steps to take. And that is not an uncommon feeling across the board, whether it's somebody with a business degree, to somebody who's never had any experience with business or to a serial entrepreneur. So I think there's a lot of need for that clear understanding of what to do next because you have this great idea and you want to do something with it for the most part just giving somebody that confidence that you can do this and you can make this work 100k ideas was the brainchild sort of of two individuals david olala and phil hagerman so david a serial innovator entrepreneur himself had created a version of 100k ideas called Invent at NMU in partnership with Northern Michigan University. They were built on that concept of, you know, if you help someone kind of flesh out this idea, it's not about, you know, making sure they're unicorns and become millionaires out of that. Great if that happens to happen. But really the focus was on those kind of garage inventors who are just looking to supplement their income, right? And while that was happening, um, Phil was making investments in downtown and happened to purchase the now fair building and the two of them met and they kind of came up with the plan for the building itself what that should be the staple that it would become in the community and also decided to create 100k ideas which would be kind of Flint's version of invent and NMU the organization similar premise the focus is really about how do we help the city overall kind of recover in an economic fashion, but really providing a place where people feel comfortable sharing them and can come at any stage regardless of what they think they know or don't know in a non-intimidating environment. There really is a lot of benefit to having an objective person coming in and saying, okay, here are these very clear next steps for you to move this idea forward. It's based in research. It's based in what you have available to you today. It's based in people hearing you and wanting to support you in this idea. So from there, that's kind of what happened. The building opened, 100K launched in November 2017. And from there, we've just kind of grown and really responded to the needs of the community to flesh out our programs that we've grown to. I remember getting on the website back in 2018. And there was like the only people on the website were just project managers. And I was sitting there going, wow, this is really, and what are project managers? Like I remember thinking to myself, where, what? But I was really trying to wrap my head around what this organization was and what they were doing. So since it opened, 100K Ideas focused on really helping the individual innovator entrepreneur. Our mission is to relieve innovators of the entrepreneurial burden and really make that process easier and less intimidating by simplifying it to kind of think, make, and market our three signature stages to help people get to a point where they can test their product, their service, and some more profession in the market, refine it, and then continue that iterative process to eventually getting to where they see it go. For our main services that we offer to the client, we offer an idea assessment. And that idea assessment really helps the client understand the industry demand for their idea, benchmarks, whether those be local or national. It also helps them understand what kind of costs they're looking at to get to pilot, as well as what next steps they personally will need to take to move this specific idea forward. Yeah, over time, it's crazy how 100K's ideas has really evolved. So obviously clients are still our focus and still like our number one thing, but from really developing our student staff in a way we hadn't quite before through professional development. Our professional development program, we offer structured programming each month and some of those topics are customer service, team building. We offer help with resume building. We offer help with interview practice. We do mindfulness training as well as disc training for communication skills. We want to build an innovative workforce. What we mean by that is we use student staff. So we have project managers, we have graphic designers, we have industrial designers, and we have engineers on staff to work with our clients directly. So I was a project manager at 100K Ideas. I started right before the pandemic. And then I stayed for a year. And just at my time there, I gained friends, I gained experience, I gained knowledge of the city. I had no idea that like this existed in Flint. So when I found out about this opportunity through school, I 
was super excited. I was beyond shocked that it was good people down here. There were opportunities, there were black owned businesses, there were people that existed down here that are being productive because you don't get to see that. That's not shown in Flint. When we hire students, we have a little bit of an expectation that they have some skills that they've learned in the classroom. And when they bring them to 100K Ideas, we want them to be able to put those into practice. And we try to encourage them to build upon those skills and stretch a little bit outside of what they may have learned in a textbook or what they may have learned for an assignment and really think for themselves and come up with new solutions to the problem that they're trying to solve that may not have been what they were trained to do, but opening up that door for a conversation about what could be possibly done for this client. Because every client's really different and that may not be something that a textbook trains you or a computer assignment will train you to do. When I first came into 100K, I came in kind of blind. My first like professional office experience when it came to like finance and, and like entrepreneurship. I've learned that I've wanted to get into more client relations and kind of helping clients whatever, with whatever they need. I've been able to expand at 100K with developing financial models within an independent study at SVSU. Basically, I just do company valuations for small businesses, creation of financial modeling, and that has helped me understand the analytical side of a business is also the organizational side as well. And we utilize student staff so they can gain experience. They also are able to hit those soft skills with our professional development programs that we offer. Ideally, they're the ones that are really empowered to work with clients and succeed and help those clients grow while they're growing themselves. With the 100K Ideas experience, I was able to gain a lot of experience through their, their marketing specialist, Paul, and I was able to communicate effectively. I was also able to be confident. Although we tag team with a coworker or a colleague, I was still able to do that myself. So if I ever needed to like conduct an interview by myself, I probably still could today like with no problem. The skills that I gained or improved on at 100K is definitely the client presentation skills, the client retention skills, um, as well as the technical skills within the projects. The environment that I've been inspired by, especially because I was remote for the first three months, but it's a real eye-opener when I came into to the office and being into the business. We have a very open space, a very modern space, which helps the client adapt because all ideas are different and we just want to help in any way. And obviously the, the side of building relationships with my, with my employees and fellow coworkers. Not only were we students all striving for our degree, but we all were there for an experience. We all were there just to, to be a part of a great organization. And we really try to make sure that when our students move on from us, they're really moving on to that next, next step, ready to be in the workforce and ready to be super successful in anything that they do going forward. I love my 100K experience. I still brag and talk about it on my resume. I'm not taking you guys off my resume. Like, <laughs> I'm keeping that on there because it was, it was a great experience and I'm thankful that they helped me want to be a part of a company that means something, that's doing something, that's changing just having an impact in the community that they're a part of. As the community engagement coordinator here at 100K Ideas, we've made it a really important value of ours to make it a pillar as a part of our organization. So to expand upon our mission and add to our student workforce, we provide additional opportunities such as the fellowship for non-local college students. 100K Ideas has had the pleasure of hosting the fellowship for three years in a row. The eight-week program is targeted towards individuals with ties to Genesee County. Hi, my name is Judy Lynn and I am currently a junior at Michigan State University and I joined 100K Ideas during the summer of May 2021 as a summer fellow. During my fellowship, I really got to understand what the real meaning of entrepreneurship meant. Before I had come to 100K Ideas, I thought, oh, being an entrepreneurship, you can just have an idea and it'll just be really easy to process this idea and make your product come alive. I realized that maybe entrepreneurship would be something that I want to do in the future and create my own business. The fellowship is a really great program for students all different disciplines as far as like uh, their majors and minors. I think it's a deep dive into entrepreneurship specifically in Flint. Coming to Flint, I had no like there really wasn't any expectation that I had when coming to Flint. I was just like, oh, it's just another city in Michigan. But after coming to Flint, I realized just how pretty the city was. During my fellowship with 100K, we got to meet with so many 
professionals. It exposes them to a multitude of industries. They're able to talk to local entrepreneurs, other business people, and get to ask real questions. I think that the open forum program that we've created allows them to really really touch in on, on what is it that they're interested in or what they're passionate about, along with like identifying what's a problem that you can solve. And I think that that's what they walk away with the most. After working with 100K Ideas, I became more understanding of what that process was like. And I've learned how I can be an entrepreneurship myself and that there are resources there out there that can help you. Like 100K Ideas that in the future that if you want to start an entrepreneurship, there are resources out there. Just like I think one of the things that really surprised me was like when coming to 100K Ideas was like I could relate to kind of everybody and their struggles and also just getting the opportunity to do community work for Flint was also really impactful. Not only do we participate in volunteerism into the community at least once a quarter, it is something that we're always thinking about. How can we support other local organizations? How can we be involved? And not just to say, here we are, but we're here to help as well. So we've been able to go to the Food Bank of Eastern Michigan, the hoop houses you help clean up and plant um, in the hoop houses. We've participated in um, park cleanups. And I think soon we're gonna be participating participating in the cleanup around downtown Flint and specifically Brush Alley. Community engagement is really important to us to making sure that we're removing barriers, we're providing access, and that also comes in the form of our office hours. We have office hours at Burson, at the Flint Development Center, and the Latinx. We're making sure that if anyone who is a part of Flint or Genesee County, they know that, that we're available in a multitude of locations. My name is Bryant Nolden. I am the executive director at Burson Fieldhouse, a recreational facility in North Flint. I actually had a conversation with Brandy and she was talking about doing something in North Flint around 100K Ideas. When she came to me and we were talking, I thought it was, it was a great idea to have a space at Burston where people could come in and feel comfortable and talk about their ideas. So that collaboration actually started, I think about maybe five years ago. And it's been a fantastic partnership because it is a area where people from that particular area feel comfortable coming. It's not necessarily 100% about like making sure people come and sit down and do our full appointment process. Some people don't have time, but it's also a way just for people to get to know who we are by having that consistent presence in the neighborhood. If they do happen to have time one day or confident and ready to come in, we're right there. And not just to say, here we are, but we're here to help as well. So and I think that is what makes 100K idea so very important for the community because they go where the people are. And understanding that that helps to eliminate some barriers to access that we wanted to make sure didn't exist to getting our work. And along our work and that journey and that work, we realized, oh, there's some other things people are asking and needing. Then that also led to the constant need that we hear, which is funding. So we launched our Pitch for K competition which I consider now one of our flagship programs. We do three competitions a year. That really was designed for early stage entrepreneurs to have a way to get some capital they can use how they need to. And our only requirement is that you have to get up and pitch and talk about it. <laughs> but in the process, we're providing very supportive structure. So, you know, they're paired with mentors in preparation for the competition. They go through a pitch clinic facilitated by the University of Michigan Flint's Innovation Incubator. They go through our process if they haven't already. So we really try to create the most supportive environment for them to be successful. So we're really excited about that part and seeing that grow to what it is now. And then our youth programming initiative kind of took off as well. So that is absolutely probably one of my favorite things that we created just because, you know, we would get requests from people like, hey, do you work with kids? Do you do anything with students? And it's like, no, but we can. 100 Kids is the youth engagement arm of 100K Ideas. And over the last few years, it's been just talking to educators, other youth organizations, kind of understanding where are they at with their youth and their idea of entrepreneurship and innovation and coming in with custom or tailored programming to fit that or to help expand upon that. 
As a part of 100 Kids, we engage ages from kindergarten to 12th grade. And then the high school experience is a four week summer program, again, targeting those transitioning from 10th grade to 11th grade. And it overlaps actually with the last four weeks of the summer college fellowship. And we did that intentionally. We have the college students for the first four weeks and then kind of training them. And so then when the high schoolers come in, they're able to help mentor and guide them as well. Well, I connected with 100K Ideas through an ecosystem partnership collaboration meeting that we started back about a year ago. So 100K Ideas this year offered to partner with us and allow our students to go on what we called a YE expedition trip. And it was a field trip where students left school, they came downtown Flint here and were able to see what it is that 100K Ideas does in Flint. And I think the biggest takeaway was that they understood they had resources. They had other entrepreneurs in the area that were in support of them to further their business dream. We just kind of come in, we, we introduce what entrepreneurship and innovation is. We start off by presenting them, you know, what is a problem or what, what have you identified as a problem in your area? And, and thinking about the multitude of solutions and then which solutions could be possible ways to create a business. And I think if we teach our youth that way, they will be our problem solvers of tomorrow. One of the things that came out of that expedition field trip were several students that wanted to do a feasibility study and 100K Ideas has offered them their assessment binder to look at the competition as well as uh, their future business uh, potential. Because there are problems that we're experiencing, but we don't feel the effects of them, but it will be up to them to solve them. And I think instilling them with those skills and empowering them and motivating them, they'll feel confident. And again, it isn't about a good idea or bad idea, but have I flushed this idea fully out um, to the extent? And I, and I can say that I'm done with it rather than it failed. And another really cool bonus out of that field trip was just the, the support to tell the students you can move forward and you should compete and put your idea out there as many times as you can. I think with 100 kids, I think that them thinking about critical thinking skills, the idea of the engineering design process and understanding what that cycle involves and of course refining it, testing it. They don't think that there are good or bad ideas, but have I pushed this idea to the fullest? Flint has such a rich entrepreneurial ecosystem. So them getting a chance to see, you know, the Mott Fab Lab and, you know, Touring Factory 2. Them being able to hear from entrepreneurs and innovators right in the community who set up shop in the city. It's inspiring to them to pursue their own ideas and want to move forward. So we're very excited. And then we're also grateful that we have collaborators such as the Boys and Girls Club that allow us to do programming at their spaces to just help students start thinking about their ideas and realize, you know, there's really no barrier. Age should not matter. Where you are does not matter. You can really become and start your business at any point in time. If you have an idea, you know, we can help you move that forward. I think very process oriented. There's a right way to do it. And start after starting at 100K, I really had to work on myself or really encouraging myself more to really stretch and grow and not be so rigid in my own thinking to be able to accommodate different students and be able to accommodate different staff members and be able to accommodate different clients because just, just because there's a right way to do something, that doesn't mean that's the right way to, for them. Yeah, over the years we've had the pleasure to collaborate and really be supported by some amazing people and organizations in this community. And so, you know, at the end of the day, it's really just a huge thank you to you. You know, you trusted us with your ideas to bring to life and trusted us to bring this vision for this community alive as well. So it's definitely a huge thank you to those people who have supported us, been there from the beginning, some maybe just hopping on, but that support and that buy-in and that that love for what we do really helps to keep us going. So, so hopefully, you know, this has kind of really helped shine a light on all the things we do. A lot of people, again, they see the client services and entrepreneurs are helping, but we've also become so much more. So I'm really excited that we were able to share that with you all. And, you know, I hope, you know, there's something of interest and you want to get involved more. That would be fantastic. But we're, again, excited at how much we've grown. And we also know, you know, this isn't the ceiling for us. So just like our clients, we're still growing, fleshing out what this looks like. And, you know, we know we're going to keep moving forward.